what is good guys i'm gonna be coming back at you with another video today um i've been kind of absent for a while just because uh, i'm a lazy fuck so um yeah that's the reason why i've been gone but i wanted to make another video because we just hit 400 subscribers and i'm really thankful for that i did not think that i would actually get to 400 subs considering i wasn't uploading any kind of videos but now that I see there were 400, it just really want it just really pushes me to want to make more videos. But sometimes I just get really really lazy and just end up not making and not making any more videos, even though I have a whole entire list about the stories that I want to tell you guys, and it's there's there's a lot of them. But in this one, we're going to be coming at you with a uh, with a, with a pretty short story, but a story nonetheless. We're going to be talking about the ghetto lighter story. This is a this is a story back from my very, very stoner days. I'm like, I am still am one, but you know, well, it was a little more intense back then. This is when we only smoked flour. So uh, if you guys do enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, let's just hop right into this video. All right, so this story takes place around a year ago when I was back on my bullshit, when I was being a retard, and basically, I got a joint. I got a joint. I got some fire. I got some fire, and it's a... This actually ties back into another story. This is also ties back into a story called uh, a joint inside of a Sharpie, which I'll be making that tomorrow if you guys would like. Uh, yeah, it's a really funny story. It's a, it's exactly what it sounds like, a joint inside of a Sharpie. So uh, it ties back into that, so I'll tell you guys that later. But basically, I got this joint from my friend, and I go home, and I'm ready to spark this shit up. I'm ready to get fucking lit as fuck. And he told me it was some fire, and when I hit this thing, Jesus Christ, it was. Two hits had me gone, 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 faded. And I remember it was late at night, and I FaceTimed a friend who gave it to me. Because we FaceTime, like, all the time. And I always FaceTime him when I'm gonna hit when I'm gonna hit something. Sometimes he'll hit something, you know. It really just depends. And I call him, and he's like, dude, you gonna, you gonna spark that thing up? I'm like, fuck yeah, I am. You, who do you think I am? A bitch? No, I had to full send that shit. But but there was a part of the full send that I couldn't really get. Well, I didn't have a lighter. I did not have a lighter at all, so I was really pissed off. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. I was looking around my room because I thought I had a secret lighter that I hid because my mom usually goes through my room. And this was this story actually takes place like a little bit after I got caught another time. And so she took all my lighters and shit, but I remember there was one little spot that I always hit a, a lighter that I never use. So I go to look there, and I guess she found it, and I was big sad, so I didn't have a lighter, but I, going into this, I thought I did. So I, I thought I was prepared. So I don't see that I have a lighter. So I have the genius idea to go downstairs, and I thought I was just going to use the toaster. I was going to get the toaster upstairs, use the coils inside, light the joint, put the toaster back. I go downstairs to look for the toaster. Guess what we don't have? We or we did have one, but guess where? It's nowhere in sight. We don't have a fucking toaster anywhere in sight. I could not see it anywhere. So I was like, you know what? God damn it. So I just went back to my room. I'm facing my, my friend. I'm like, bro, I don't have a fucking lighter. What can I do? He's like, oh, looks like you're just going to have to wait till tomorrow to get a lighter. I'm like, fuck that. You got me fucked up if you think I'm waiting a whole entire day when I got some fire in my hand. <laughs> So, me being the genius I am, me being the, the stoner I am, because you know you know how all stoners become geniuses when it comes to weed, especially with lighters, because you already know stoners be losing their fucking lighters all the time, so we gotta come up with ways to, to light our shit. So, me being the genius I am, I had, a, I had a Jimmy Neutron brain blast in my head, and I knew, huh, I know that batteries... I know that if you have a positive and negative connection, it creates an arc and it can make a super hot plated metal. If you basically touch the two ends together, it can create a red hot, basically think of a vape coil. You know how they get red, red, red hot. It's because of a negative and positive connection. So I knew that if I have a negative and positive connection from a battery, I could light, I could have a burning red piece of metal and I could burn it off of that and light my joint. So what I did is I took two batteries from my Xbox controller. I took or two razor blades from just a a, a razor or what is it? What are they called? Um, God damn it! The thing you use to shave your legs. I'm drawing a fucking blank. But I take the two razor blades from that, and I remember I took one. I taped it at the bottom with electrical tape. So then the positive and negative on the bottom were together. So then it was going to start a charge. 
All I needed left was the piece on the top that would create the charge and cause the arc. So I took another piece of razor blade, or another razor blade, I split it in half. I taped one side of the razor blade on the positive, one side on the negative. And I remember, I was like, fuck, please, please, please work. Please work. So, I, I sit up on my roof, and I'm like, okay, dear god, please be, let me be able to light this joint. I press the positive and negative razors together, and what do we have? We have a red glowing piece of fucking razor. I put that shit before it, like, before it, like, went out, just in case it went out, because it was really hard to, like, put together. So, as soon as I saw the red, as soon as, as, soon as I saw the glowing, I put the joint up to it, and that shit fucking lit it so fast. The fucking flame, the little, the little, uh, coiled part at the end of a joint where you twist it, that thing fucking lit up in fire and just instantly went to the joint. I fucking put the lighter down and I hit that shit and that shit was some fire, but that's not the, that's not the part of the story we're talking about. We're sort of talking about the ghetto lighter. So, go back into my room, get super, super fucked up, and uh, I put the, I put the lighter away just in case, like I need it for later. My mom finds it, fucking takes it. Big L, big L. But it was probably one of my most genius stoner stories that I have. And, uh, yeah, that was the story. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if you guys did enjoy this video, rather, remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment if, if you like this video, comment what you guys want to see next, comment if you guys want to see some different kind of videos, which I'm guessing you guys don't because you guys really like the story time videos. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. And if you guys if you guys enjoy like, subscribe, comment, as usual, and uh, peace.